Good morning. So you guys in America, you celebrate 4th of July soon. I saw this ad, you see, from the Democratic Party. Yeah. And uh, there were people taking the shot and being very happy, right? Smiling. And then there was this voice that says, This year there is more to celebrate. The freedom to hug a grandchild, to see a baseball game in person, to come back together again. Well, this is all good. But then they say, America leading the world out of the global pandemic with honesty and compassion. <laughs> so it looks to me that they are taking credit for something here. Yeah? Not just to America, but also to the world. Yeah? And they, they use these words, honesty and compassion. Yeah. And that compassion is a weird word to use, I think. Maybe they should have used passion. Because this guy, Joe Biden, he's passionate, isn't he? He likes ice cream. Yeah. And if he's uh, on stage and there's a girl close by with nice hair, he's very passionate, isn't he? And if you agree with them, yeah, they will at least pretend to be compassionate. Yes. If you vote for them. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. Yes. Uh, maybe we have to do something to you. If you voted for Trump, this is not good. Maybe you are sick, you see. Yeah, it, just agree with them. And they will uh, be, at least pretend to be compassionate. I want to tell you about Malmö. This town in Sweden, it's the most multicultural town we have. It's also the, pro the problem town in Sweden. They have more problems than anywhere else. Yeah. It's shootings, it's drugs, it's uh, extortion, uh, explosions, yeah. gangs, drugs, lots of problems. So now they have a new police chief. And maybe you expect they would get some tough guy to handle the situation. But they didn't. They, they got this lady, you see. And I was looking at the picture of her. And she's got very mild eyes. And just looking at her, I, I knew you know, they will not handle anything with this lady. Nothing will be handled. No. And now she introduced herself to the people in Malmö. She sent them a message. Uh, and she says, uh, people living in Malmö, they shouldn't think so much about the crime and the gangs and stuff. No. Instead, people should focus on the good things in Malmö. Like the restaurants. And that uh, it's close to the continent. You see? And then she said this. There's a greater risk of being involved in a tra traffic accident than a shooting. Yeah, just think positively. Yeah. All right, so, you know, nothing will change. It's going to get worse, of course. It's the socialists running Malmö. It's, they have been running Malmö for forever, it seems. And uh, why do people vote for the socialists? People ask me this, why do they vote for the socialists? Well, it's not a big mystery at all. It's people on welfare who vote for them. And that's a big chunk of people, you see. Uh, it used to be like the, the workers voted for the socialists, but not anymore. It's people on welfare. And in Sweden, I don't remember the exact number, I think it was 11 or 15% of the adults living here in Sweden, they live on welfare. So you understand? And they get like 20-25% in the polls. So you see, that's why they love mass immigration. Because a lot of these people coming to Sweden, they will be on welfare and they will vote for the socialists. Yeah, no, it's terrible. There are some good signs here in Sweden. Uh, there was a poll result survey that was done recently. 
which was interesting. I usually don't pay much attention to these surveys. But this was very good. Yes, the socialists went down uh, by 0 0.6. The center party went down by 1.5, which is great. Center party is the worst, yeah. So, and, and the survey was done by establishment's own serve poll institute, yeah. They use this poll institute, it's called SVT Novus. Uh, if they want to raise the taxes, for instance, they get this poll institute to, to produce something, a result, right? Which will make them right, yeah. They, the poll institute says, yeah, this is what people want. And then the government says, okay, so now we have to do it. We raise the taxes. So this was the Poll Institute who did this. Uh, and the Sweden Democrats, the nationalists, uh, they got up by 2.2%. And they are now at 21, according to this Poll Institute. They usually get it wrong. You know, they always get it in favor for the lefties. So this was excellent. You know, uh, it's, it's the people. That's where it needs to happen. Uh, I, I'm not interested in the politicians. We don't want, we don't wait for the politicians. They will not handle it. No. It has to be handled by us, the people. And this result shows that people, more and more people, understand that we have a situation in Sweden. If we are going to handle it, we need change. Yeah. Very quickly. You know, all these people living in Sweden, uh, most of them are good, you see. And of course, these people will not vanish, right? The country, the nation is ruined, yes. But the people are still here, right? The good ones. They let it happen. Ah, I know. But they were actually ambushed, they were fooled, they were manipulated, they were lied to, yes. And now you see this awakening starting, and it has to be from the people. These politicians, they are, well, there are some good ones, yes, but they are more or less globalists, all of them, yes. They are corrupt. So if it's going to change, it has to come from the people. And this is what this result shows, if you ask me. I see the change. Right. Be good.